Welcome to this 2 to you topic video that looks at the impact of energy production in the UK. This is part of Paper 2, Unit C, The Challenge of Resource Management. The exploitation of energy resources has many economic and environmental impacts. Some of these are good and some of them are bad. We're going to start off by looking at fossil fuels. Fossil fuels have traditionally been the main source of energy in the UK. We still have between 200 and 300 years worth of coal left, so it makes sense that we should dig this up rather than import it from other countries. And we also know there are lots of areas that could be dug to find oil and gas. This exploration will create thousands of jobs and lead to a multiplier effect with support industries and the manufacturing process, giving a huge economic boost to those areas with these resources. On the screen, you can see a photograph of Ellesmere Port in Cheshire. This is an enormous processing plant for fossil fuels, and with it, it has created thousands of jobs. There are numerous economic and environmental impacts that are linked to fossil fuels that we need to consider. Let's start off with those economic impacts. Much of the coal is deep underground, which makes it very expensive and hard to access. This means it's easier and cheaper to import coal from other countries. The last operating deep coal mine in the UK closed down in 2015. This was a Kellenley Colliery in North Yorkshire. New areas of oil exist in places that are either remote or hard to get to. For example, there is oil in areas of the North Sea that hasn't been drilled before, but this exploration is very expensive due to the remoteness. Many people who have spent decades working in coal mines have developed respiratory illnesses from breathing in coal dust, and this has to be treated by the NHS at significant costs. And finally, coal mining leaves large spoil heaps, which are really expensive to clean up. But what about the environmental impacts? Well, burning fossil fuels emit carbon dioxide, which contributes to the greenhouse effects and to climate change. We also get visual pollution from coal mining spoil heaps and open cast mines. Coal mines create large amounts of dust and noise and increased heavy goods vehicles on the road. This has an impact on local people and wildlife. Coal mining also uses large areas of land and these additional land infrastructure such as access roads and supporting industries, which will also impact upon wildlife habitats. And finally, oil and gas terminals are vast and they have a huge visual impact. For example, this photograph that we saw on the previous screen of Ellesmere Port. Let's move on to nuclear energy. The 1960s saw investment into nuclear power stations across the UK, such as Sizewell A on the Suffolk coast, which is a concrete building in the photograph on the screen, with a second wave of investment in new generation plants in the 1980s and the 1990s, which includes the construction of Sizewell B, which is the blue and white building in the photo on the screen. By the late 1990s, nuclear power accounted for around a quarter of all energy production in the UK, but this has declined to around 15% now. This is due to the fact that all of the original nuclear power stations have been decommissioned or are currently going through that process, and construction of new generation plants was halted for a number of years. However, more recently, the government has decided to go ahead with the construction of these new generation plants including the controversial size we'll see development, which many locals have opposed despite how much it will boost the local economy. Nuclear power is seen by many as a clean source of energy which is able to produce electricity at a large scale. And although the cost of building power stations is higher than any other form of power, the production costs after are relatively low. Nuclear energy also creates huge numbers of jobs, in constructing the plants, but also in research and development for new technology. So let's have a look at some of the impacts of nuclear power. We'll start off with the economic impacts. Firstly, the power stations cost an enormous amount of money to construct. Secondly, transportation and storage of nuclear waste is very difficult and very expensive. And thirdly, the costs of the decommissioning process at the end of the life of the power station are very high. So what about the environmental costs? 
Well, nuclear waste has to be stored for a very long time, and it can take thousands of years for radioactive decay to occur, so the risk of contamination is high. Radiation leaks from nuclear accidents can also have a long-term effect on people and the environment. For example, Chernobyl, which happened in Ukraine in 1986. This led to the evacuation of 350,000 people. Finally, let's have a look at renewable energy. The contribution made by renewable energy to the UK's energy mix has grown significantly over the last decade. Most days, around a third of UK energy comes from renewable sources, particularly wind and solar. There has been huge investment into wind farms, particularly those offshore, which are less likely to be opposed. And thousands of acres of farmland have been given over to solar farms. Renewable energy gives off fewer carbon emissions, so is seen as an important strategy in the fight against climate change. As this sector has grown rapidly, it has created thousands of jobs in research and development, but also in manufacturing and construction too. However, there are several drawbacks to generating energy in this way. The economic impacts of renewable energy in the UK are numerous. Initially, the cost of renewable energy is high, particularly as they are often in hard to get to places such as the sea. Many people argue that the land that's been used for solar farms is taking land away that could be used for crop farming and therefore impacting food supply. Lots of people also argue that renewable energy production is unsightly, for example fields full of solar panels, but particularly wind farms which are often situated in highland areas where the landscape is beautiful. Therefore there could be an impact on tourism. There is also concern that they don't generate that much electricity, so it takes a long time to get the initial investment back. But there are also environmental impacts to consider. We've got the visual impact on the landscape that we've already mentioned, of wind turbines in particular, but also the supporting infrastructure such as access roads, which can dramatically change very remote regions. Wind turbines also present a danger to birds. They can affect migration, but they can also cause birds to fly into them. Solar panels can also pose a danger to wildlife as birds often mistake the reflective glass for water. We then need to consider the noise pollution to local people. One of the main reasons that people oppose onshore wind farms, and it is why offshore wind farm development is much more likely to take place. But talking of offshore wind turbines, these can affect underwater currents, which can affect marine life. That concludes this Tutor to You topic video focusing on the impact of energy production in the UK. Thank you for watching.